Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I have an unboxing that I would like to do before I just get situated for bed. I've had this box all day and I did not open to sniff anything. So this is really a real unboxing, first sniff, first impressions. This is my Zape Christmas haul. And of course, um, the thank you card popped up. Says beyond thankful. So that is the business card. So I'm gonna unwrap this stuff and I will be right back. Okay guys, so we're back and we're ready to go. This is cotton headed Nini Muggins. I think that's what it's called. It's apple cider donuts, vanilla cookie, spice cranberry, and orange peel. This is beautiful. I really love this snowflake. Let's see. Okay, this is nice. Apple cider donut. You get the apple and the orange. It smells like an apple orange spice cake, but not with a lot of spice. That cranberry is in the background. It's nice, but I feel like it's kind of light, Um, to be honest. Next is a repurchase. It's Christmas tree cakes. This is fluffy white cake. Buttercream for arm um, filling, a hint of Christmas spice. So these are so cute. I love these um, little Debbie shapes. Yeah, this is so good. This is so good. It smells just like I remember. It just smells like a decadent vanilla cream, buttercream icing type of thing. And it's pretty strong, too. For this to be a cake and buttercream um, type of scent, I really, really like this on cold. And it performs. The one I had last year did really good. Next, we have Christmas Eve. And this is Crackling Fire Fur and Balsam Toasted Marshmallows. Um, these are the Christmas shapes as well. I had to get this one. Y'all know I love anything with a tree note. Oh, this smells so good. I love balsam. I love fur. That's exactly what I get from here. Oh, this smells like Christmas. It smells like Christmas Eve. Y'all know I'm not, I've never really done the real Christmas tree thing. But I've always loved the smell of real Christmas trees. Oh, this smells so good. Next, we have Tinseltown, and it is Sweet Caramel Cider Fir Tree Lime Trees. I love that they did the layered look this year. Oh, this smells so good. Let me see, can I take one out? My nails just mess a little star up, but it's cute. I love that caramel cider. This is heavy cider and caramel, but you do get a hint of that tree note. It's beautiful. It smells like you're making warm cider near a Christmas tree. Very warm and cozy, inviting type of scent. Happy I picked this one up. Ooh, this one came with three. Three of these um, shapes. This is Christmas Cobbler. Spiced apple, baked peaches, buttery pie crisp. Oh, this is good. Oh, wow. This is really good. Mm. This spice note in here is so good. It just works well with the apple and the peaches. Oh. Mm, and that pie crust, this is going to be good. Um, this one is Santa Baby, which is vanilla bean, creamy marshmallow, and pink sugar crystals. This shape is adorable, and it's a full-on vanilla, like, pink cupcake. Let's see. Oh, I got to take it out. I got to. I got to. Look at that. Super cute. Oh, this smells really good. I don't remember if I had this one last year. Mmm. Yeah. 
this smells like a really creamy, sweet, pink sugar. Yeah, it's very sweet, very creamy. Oh, really, really good. I don't remember if I've had this one. But so far, I really like it. Okay, next we have Under the Mistletoe, which is Mistletoe Berries and Christmas Smooches. So I don't know what Christmas Smooches is, but I hope it smells good. What? Stop. Oh, this is so pretty. What is Christmas Smooches? Oh. You know what? This makes me want to just, you know, put this away, put that away, put that away, and go on and put my Christmas tree up. Oh, that is good. <laughs> Under the mistletoe is delicious. Like I said, I don't know what Christmas smooches is, but that berries and that tree, no um, tree note is really, really good. This one I really, really love. I had it last year. Um, I picked up a shape in a clam and Grinch cookies. This is sugar cookies, peppermint candy, and Whoville cheer. Of course, it's peppermint. I love peppermint. Oh my God. This is like the most creamy. There go the dogs. This is like the most creamy, like mouth watering peppermint. It's almost giving like a butter a buttermint vibe, but even better. This is so good. If you really love peppermint and you like bakery scents, you will really like this one. I'm happy to have more this year. All right, this is my last shape, and then the rest are clams, and I got one body care. So this is Hansel and Gretel's house. Gingerbread, graham crackers, and vanilla frosting. Look how cute. I love the shapes. Oh my goodness. That's Bella if y'all hear her. Oh my God, that gingerbread is so good. Oh, what? Maybe I just haven't had gingerbread in a while. I'm going back and get more Hansel and Gretel if it's still available. This is bomb. This is so good. I know if I if I don't, I'm gonna be like cutting off little pieces, <laughs> trying to savor it. That is so freaking good. So good. We have Cindy Lou Who, which is peppermint, vanilla bean, pink sugar crystals. So these are the clams. I did pick up a few of these. Oh, it smells good. Pretty. Yeah, this one smells like peppermint, but it's it got that pink sugar. It's not as creamy and decadent to me as the Grinch cookies, but it smells really good. All right, next we have Black Tie Affair, which is Amaretto Spike Eggnog, Coattails, and bow ties. I love her scent notes. Like, it's a gray color. Okay. Okay, let me see. Can I pop it out? It's very, very hard. I might end up breaking a nail, but we're going to get it out. There we go. Mmm, this smells really good. I do get the amaretto. See, I cannot tell you what is coat tails and bow ties, but this smells like amaretto. Mm, it smells so good. And I do get a, a creaminess from it. I'm not sure if that's the eggnog or what, but I do smell the amaretto. Very creamy, creamy scent. That is really good. Next, we have Christmas in a Cup, which is eggnog, sugar cookies, espresso, and sweet cream. I don't do a lot of um, coffee scents, but a lot of people was raving about this one. So I said, okay, just give it, oh, I can, <laughs> I can smell it already. Oh, it smells good. It smells good, though. This actually smells good. It's not like a chocolate note in here, but this smells like a chocolate, sweet chocolate. 
eggnog mocha scent or something. The espresso is not super strong in here. It's just very mellow. Oh, I love this. Did I just say love? Oh my God, a coffee scent. Oh my God. Mm. Yeah, Zay, you on the sun with this one. And, and this coming from a girl that y'all don't really see melt or get through a lot of coffee. I would repurchase that one. Next is Yuletide Carols, with, which is winter fir trees and sweet vanilla bean. That one is so gorgeous. Yeah, this smells like a creamy tree note. A creamy tree scent. That's what I'm getting. Um, it's not like complex or anything. It's just fir tree and vanilla bean. But it smells really, really good. Really, really good. Okay, next we have Always Slaying, which is sweet orange and berries, spiced clove, warm tobacco with caramel, vanilla, and bergamot. So this one I was excited for because... It just sounded different. It wasn't straight up bakery. So I was like, okay, let's give it a go. Oh, I really like this one. Um, First thing I picked up was the orange and berries. It's so pretty. Then you get that caramel tobacco. Oh my God. What? Why did I just get a clam of this? Oh my God. It's a very, like, to me, like a grown-up Christmas scent. Oh, it's very pretty. It's fruity, but it has that, that depth to it from that tobacco and caramel with a little spice. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, mm. yeah, I might get more of that one, too. Last clam is Grinch cookies. Oh, of course, I got another one. Sugar cookies, peppermint candy. And who be a chair? So I did grab another one. Yep, and it smells just like it. I'm so glad. Um, I know in the past I've had issues with Zape clamshells. They used to like come off with that um plasticky note. I don't get that at all. I get straight up whatever the scent is, and it's super strong. Okay, and the last thing I got. I ended up getting a body butter sugar scrub. This is my first one that I bought. I, I normally get them in like samples, but I decided to grab this one. It was on sale for $12 and it is Holly Berry. It's very, very pretty. It says directions, massage into weight skin, rinse lightly, pack dry for best results. Use at the end of your shower to re retain moisture. To retain moisture, yeah. Oh, let's see the consistency. This looks pretty. Oh, this is like scrubby. Like, y'all hear that? Okay, so the scent, it smells good. And I can already tell this is going to be very moisturizing. I need to wipe it off, but look at that. You can see. Yeah, what does it smell like? I'm getting like a berry vibe. It does smell like Christmas, but if this performs the way I hope it is, I might end up placing um, just a sugar scrub order because I love body care. Y'all know that. And I'm hoping this performs pretty well. It's a lot of, it's 11 ounces and I got it for $12. I think they originally are like $16, but you know, it's still a good price. Oh, one more thing before I go. We got a sample and this is in a whip soap and this is called Pop the Bubbly. I did not get that scent. I think it was more like a fruity champagne type of scent. Oh, it smells good. I should have got it. Oh, this smells really good. It's pretty pink color. This smells like a fruity, a fruity, sweet, fruity drink type of scent. So thank you for my sample. So 
so yeah that's everything i hope you guys enjoyed this haul it was fun opening up things together with you guys first sniff impressions are always just what it sounds like first sniff impressions so these these impressions may change after a couple of days but so far i love everything so thank you so much and take care and i will talk to you guys on the next video bye